today is a video I wanted to do for a long time, but um, you know what they say, Rome wasn't built in a day. I've had a couple requests, but Jake Ticket Leprechaun is kind of pushing me over the edge. And he's doing a VR, and all he wants you to do is show your man cave slash card room. So I'm gonna take this opportunity to do that. Um, if you have ideas, <laughs> shoot me a link or a comment, just put a comment in there. Uh, if you have stuff in your man cave or in storage that you think would look good in my man cave, tell me and I'll buy it or trade. So I'm gonna use this as an opportunity to move my project further. But um, in my old house, I had a lot of stuff up on the wall, it didn't make too much sense. And I'm just taking my time. I've been in my new house for over a year. And um, I just wanna take my time while doing it. I'm in no rush. And uh, slowly but surely it'll be done. But if you have ideas or something that's gonna look dope in here, shoot me a line. So with that, where's my co-host? Where my co-host at? Bob, where you at? Oh, oh, she's a little slow today. What? Oh. <laughs> I'm right here, what are you doing? Oh yeah. So you ready to show the people the room? But you know what? I got an idea. Let's what? do it like old school. This is way before your time. What? MTV Cribs. Mm -hmm. Exactly. <laughs> we'll be back. All right, Bob, where are we going? Upstairs. To the penthouse. Let's go to the penthouse. Let's do it. Maybe I should leave this. Yeah, leave the soccer ball. Let's go. Oh, look at that fly skirt. Look at that. Still 4th of July style. <laughs> <laughs> going up to the penthouse. Oh yeah. Oh, we got a little stadium action, old school, old janky stadium. See, I still got room to grow. A little room to grow. I got the old stadium, new stadium. Wait, can I have it for a sec? Well, you want, you want to spin in a circle. You can spin in a circle no, later. No, no, no. Yeah, well, I still got some room up here. I got a little game used dirt from the old stadium. <laughs> Boy, they knocked it down. Ooh, bless you, baby. And now we're entering the man cave. <laughs> Catastrophe. That was hilarious. She dropped the phone. <laughs> this is how we do it. This is my room, my, my room, my son's room, but it's a mess. And we're not going to go yeah. in there. This is the bathroom that's up here, but it's my son's bathroom, so it's a mess. But it's all very nice. Let me do a quick 360. So we're entering the room. Let me show you. From, from the stairs, see all that? Coming in, past the bathroom over here, and here's YouTube Central. That's where you see all the videos. Well, yeah, I'll let you do it. You can't, I don't want people getting dizzy, so. There's the man, my little, what is that, 55 inch TV. I moved it from the old house, from the living room to the man cave. No. I upgraded it. No, he didn't. And that's just a quick 360. Yeah, like before you were born, I think that TV is like six years old. No. Seven years old. So that's a quick 360. <laughs> and uh, let's get into the more details of it. All right, hurry up. Do your thing. Don't get them dizzy. Right here. Oh, okay. All right. We'll be back. All right, Bob. What we got here? This is the wall. Of who? Clemente. That's not how you say it. Mm -mm. That's not how you say it. <laughs> you got too much gum in your mouth? How you say it? <laughs> Roberto Clemente. I was going to say it. Well, I've been waiting. How you say it? No. Oh, okay. So, here are a few things. Nice little stamp of Clemente that was uh, given to me from uh, my wife's grandfather. I went to an auction and got it. These are the McFarlands. I love McFarlands. And uh, they're tough. This is the All-Star edition when uh, they had the All-Star game in Pittsburgh. And I think that's only number to 3,000. So very tough to get because people open them, which drives me crazy. That's the LP, the, the final conversation. 
and I bought that maybe 20 years ago and that thing is clean still shrink wrap and minty minty one of my latest additions got that from uh Sean Tiefert my dude and in a six love that card my homeboy game Maddie got me this <laughs> that's not his son and uh got that from Rude Dog. And I got this from Blue Jacket. So you can see, oh, that glare is horrible. I got this from Blue Jacket. Oh my gosh. Let me close this. Can you film me? I got this. This post is from 67. I want to say 67. <laughs> and uh, my boy Blue Jacket hooked me up. Just sent it to me. We're very appreciative. All right, Bob, what do you want? He bought me from Target. I did not buy you from Target. <laughs> All right. So... Let's get a closer look. Yeah. That's how we do it. Hit the light, baby. See if that works. No, wrong switch. So as you guys can see, here's my nice little Clementa collection that you always see in the background. I won't take too much time on it. Love those. Love that stamp, because that's Clementa and Elston Howard. It's just my childhood collection over the years. That Milton Bradley's, I think my latest edition. No, I take that back. The Salada coins are my latest edition. Couple game use. Man, Clemente game use stuff is so expensive. I wanted to get a couple more jerseys, but I don't know. It's just so tough. I really want to get some more of these cereal cards. More of the Kellogg's, finish that out. And I got this sign a while back. I really don't remember. It was one of those uh, stores in the mall that sells all those framed autos. Now, I had uh, twice as many McFarlands. I, I have sold them, but decided to keep all the Yankees or key figures. Like I still got the Jackie. I think I got Bonds. I got Ichiro and uh, Albert Pujols rookie McFarland. They're not displayed because they're not Yankees, but where I'm at. A lot of people don't see this one. It's a nice little autograph that I got from uh, Rachel's grandfather again before he passed. Went to an auction, got that for me. And this is just a little hodgepodge. Most of this is um, most of this is just uh, supplies. I use a lot of my uh, old top loaders. I keep the best top loaders from the flea market because I always put uh, cards I get and minty minty fresh top loaders and um here's my albums but i do keep the old top loaders and i use them for um shipping little russell wilson little joe montana i got that out because i just like looking at it some glasses that my boy mr fisher bike gave me a lot of slabs of old yankees cut autos no hank bauer action And this is Bob's little collecting corner. This is her album. Very proud of it. Her little hat that she likes to wear sometimes. That's more cards that need to go into the album. And these are all her cards. I leave them out because she'll come up here and start putting them in there. And um, Wait, these are mine too, right? Yeah, baby, those are yours too. And these are yours too right here, baby. So I leave them out for her because, you know, she's got to learn how to put cards in herself. She's got to fill the cards, take care of the cards. Now, Fisher Bike, I didn't realize. Mr. Fisher Bike came over when he was hanging out. We went to the car show. He's like, I didn't realize you had so many cards. And I guess I don't really show it. I want to find a shelving system for it. But, um, yeah, this is pretty much baseball, basketball, and football at the end. And, uh, you know, I got them labeled, nothing too crazy, you know, rookies. Um, I got some of the years on them, base, baseball 2018 through 2019. That way it's just easy for me to go back and start rummaging through my, my stockpile when uh, a new rookie comes out of nowhere. That's what I love to do. And this is not all of it. I still got cards in my master bedroom closet. I got cards in the guest closet. But, um... Yeah, that's what I do. Look, baby girl. 
putting cards in the album. I love it. Um, that's just, I'm just keeping that for my brother. My brother's a comic book dork. So I got those in here for him. All right. Now this wall is empty, but I'm calling this my Hall of Fame wall. And um, the idea I have for this wall, you know, if you see Sticks and Seams and Hall of Fame Collector, he's they got uh, the glass towers. I think I'm going to put a glass tower on each side. Um, I say it's Hall of Fame, but I got some non-Hall of Famers in here, like Pete Rose, Bo Jackson. And I know I got, you know, Bonds, Conseco, but this is my wall. And then I also got a steroid wing on my Hall of Fame. See, all these guys were in, indicted or were in the Balco report, or there was just too much speculation to ignore. But yeah. What's up, baby? Yeah. And I, I, I got these frames more for my junk wax guys, but in the Hall of Fame. So I left some room to grow because uh, this is my generation and a lot of those guys are starting to get in. And this is the pictures from the junk wax. And that's what I have for this wall. And I'm thinking about putting some more posters in between these uh, cards right here. Posters, kind of like uh, the Clemente over there, because they'll fit perfect. I already measured it, so love that. <clears throat> then over here, you know, I envision. Let me get back here. I envision this to be like my storefront, like underneath the TV. I would like a glass shelving um, system where I could put like unopened packs, stuff of my childhood over there. Here's a jersey I want from my boy Magnus, real dope. I think I, I envisioned that on this Hall of Fame wall somewhere. Just got the frame for that. A little piece of old Yankee Stadium. Picture of me at uh, Legends Field over here. Now this, people are gonna be like, what? Now my second team, it, I mean, people can have a second team. Don't hate me, but uh, you gotta support your local team. The local team here is the Rays. And when they went through COVID protocols and no fans were allowed, my wife surprised me with a cutout <laughs> in the stadium. And this was like a picture from an old game. And uh, it was fun. This is a Bucky Bet, uh, Bucky Bet, Bucky Dent ball. And I love this inscription Yankee Pinstripes Forever, Forever essay. And uh, I just got some Kobe's. These are my favorite Kobe's. Probably or more pricey Kobe's. Of course, that's, I love that card. <laughs> Enough said, I was, there's nothing else to say. I love that card. And these Jordans I love because I ripped them. Ripped them myself. And that one I found in a value box find. Absolute steal. Look that card up. And then I got a couple autos right here. Nothing too crazy. Steve Carlton, Mickey Rivers, Cal. Sepeda, whoops, I'm off. Steve Carlton, Mickey Rivers, Ripkins, a little faded. Sepeda, that's an Al K line ball. And Nolan Ryan. Got Hostess, love the Hostess. And I got my cigars right here. Got about 60, 70 cigars in there. A little gaming setup. Again, the reason I'm on the floor is because I want a nice shelving system. I just don't know what I want yet. This is uh, some more unopened packs of my childhood, little junk wax area. You guys know I love my Kmart. And these are just rookie cards I love. Love Pete Alonzo, love Laddie. That's the Refractor, the no name. I got another one. Probably be available for trade after or if he wins his MVP. <laughs> um, little photo variation there. One Soto and then some fire. There's an A-Rod auto. I just like the black bats. Kind of want to get maybe an LED light so it could actually be seen better. But um, yeah, here's a picture of all the captains. This is the old McFarlane of the Core 4. Uh, it was a Toys R Us exclusive. Can't find that anywhere. Then try to find it as minty as that. 
I got all the Jeters. Those are two A-Rods right there. I got my trouts there because I have no other place to put it right now. Some Jeters, some mantles right here. And then I have Clemente right here, but I envision putting all my Clementes in one of those um, glass towers. All right, Bob, what you got? Um, I want to show them the Lazy Boy couch that mom got us. I have, I have a triple of one card. A triple? Oh, you got three of one card? Yeah. That's all right. We can uh, put them in the album or trade them. Well, we can talk about that in a little bit. There is a Jeter I am looking for from these oils. I call them little Lego figures. And um, that Jeter is tight. It's like five by seven, I think. That's hard to get. But um, there's a 2013, like light blue all-star of Jeter. I cannot find it anywhere. I found one, the guy was way overpriced on it. I still got, have a deal. But uh, yeah, if you guys know where to get one, hook a brother up. So these are all my Jeters. Well, not all my, I take that back. These aren't all my Jeters. But these are my rookie Jeters to that one. These are the Jeters I like. Jeter Auto. And this is my Glaber Rainbow, which is depressing to see because I don't think a guy with three home runs is really worth <laughs> having admired like this. <laughs> oh, he's killing me. Oh, it hurts. This fandom hurts. That's a refractor right there. Love it. Rainbow foil, gold, gold, nice little button to five. But I got all the hard ones, like this green one is to five. I wanna say this one's to seven, 10. The Carolina blue is 50, 99, 199, something like that. So it goes up. I just need the black to 25 and the white sparkle, I'm done. Besides the 101. The 101 was available and it sold. I wasn't paying 2K for it. Yeah, I got some judges, photo variation, some of my favorite autos, the Joe DiMaggio joint, Aaron Judge, Bernie Williams, the man, like one of my favorite relics. All right. So that's how that wall looks like. That guy, little Yogi. Hey, boo boo. So I love that. And, you know, like I said, these walls have room to grow, and I love it. So, like I said, I'm in no rush. And then you go to YouTube Central right here. That's the little part. Got lots of books. That's my go bag that you guys always see. Got plenty of books. That's just a book signed football. Got a little Jeter action right here. Just love it. Joe DiMaggio plate, printing plate, comic book, some Mickey's, some classic books. That auto was given to me by James Elite Hunter. Appreciate it, homie. Got this from uh, Sean Tiefer. Hello, Steel. He gave me the homeboy discount. Those are my last lot of coins. I just like looking at them when uh, I'm at the desk. A couple autos of just some ball players, nothing too crazy. Jose Lima, Lima time, and some more unopened packs. And that's it. This is the background you guys always see. Daddy. Computer. Oh, fill them out, babe. You can do whatever you want. That's your that's your album. All right, let me turn the camera around. That's pretty much the the room. Man cave. Maybe I'll do one of these once a year so you guys can see the progression. But yeah, I'll start it over. And we are back. Hopefully you enjoyed the man cave room card tour. room. Yeah, card room tour. Um, it was fun. Jake, appreciate the VR. Gave me an opportunity to do it. Um, yeah, that was fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have ideas or stuff that you want to trade me shoot me a comment so with that peace out
Go Yankees. Can I thumbs up? <laughs> Make sure you subscribe to the channel and get the next one. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Make sure. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking Bronco. You should have held on. That's your fault. She walked it off. <laughs> Let's do it again. <laughs> Let's do it again. I don't think. All right. Please like and subscribe. Make sure you subscribe to the Go Yankees. Go Yankees. Yes, I have to do it. Like this? Yeah.